Recently, a new AI was released called DeepSeek, and some people are saying it's better than ChatGPT, so I'm going to be seeing if you can make a game in Roblox Studio. I'll be rating it by three things. The first is how good is the idea it can come up with and is it original? The second is can it script the game that it comes up with? And the third is can it make 3D models for the game? So this is the website for DeepSeek, it's just deepseek.com. I already asked it this to think of an original idea for a Roblox game and I told it don't make it too complicated because it needs to code it for me. So the concept is that players are explorers racing against each other to collect treasures scattered across a randomly generated island. Then it'll be filled with obstacles or other things to try to stop the players. And the island is slowly sinking into the ocean. So I like this game idea and let's just start making it. Before I ask it to script it for me, I'm just going to save the game and name it whatever it said it was. So it's treasure dash and save. So now I've got the game saved, I'll ask it to start coding it for me. I'm just going to say, let's start coding it and to make the core mechanics. I'm also just going to tell it that I don't want to make the game, this is for the AI to make, but I will just do whatever it says or whatever it tells me to do and it's generating its response. It's actually really fast how it generates, so it's good. So first I need to create the island, because that's what it says, it just said insert a part and then scale it to a certain size. I don't think it knows the way that Roblox sets up the size properties, so I'll just fix it because it does say what numbers it needs each to be. I'll just make the height 10 because that's what it wanted. It then said to change the colour of the island to green or brown to make it look like land. So I'm going to make it green. That's done. Now I can anchor the island so it doesn't move. It says step 3 is to insert a part and name it treasure. So let's do that now. So this is the part I'm going to name treasure right here. Then it says to add a click detector and a script inside it. I'm not sure if it means the script inside the click detector or inside the part. So I'm just going to put it in the click detector first and see what happens. I don't know where this came from because I haven't even run the game yet. One of the plugins I have must be broken. So here's the error. I think it's just because I put the script in the wrong area. So there I'll just move it and now it's working. It's even got a point system which is pretty cool. Now I have to create the sinking island. So it says to put this script inside of the island part that we made earlier. So I'll just put it in here. And now it's time to add a timer. It says here add a screen GUI to start a GUI. Then inside it add a text label and name it timer. So I'll do that. All of these scripts that I'm using are completely generated by AI. And it's really helpful. And now I'm just going to copy this script and paste it in here. Wherever it says to. And it said the next step now is to add the player leaderboard. It says add a script, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a normal or a local script. But since it doesn't say anything, I'm just going to use a normal script. If it doesn't work, then the AI is at fault. So here you can actually see that the island is going down. So everything seems to be working, even the timer. I'm going to ask it to now make the randomly generated treasure locations, and it's generating it. So I'll just copy the script, and it says to put it inside the script service, and name it treasure spawner. It says to move the treasure part into server storage and I'll see if it works. So I've got an error here. I'm just going to copy it and then give it to the AI to see if it can fix the error. So here I've sent it. So I think it's because I forgot to name the part island. So I'll just fix this. This wasn't even the AI's fault, this was mine. So that means it still hasn't made any errors or issues with my game. So there you can see the treasure is spawning and everything seems to be working. So now there's just one more thing to test because everything in this part seems to be working but that doesn't mean that the AI is perfect because there's three categories and it's only done two. Now I'm just gonna ask it if it can generate the models for my game and here it said it can't directly generate a 3D model for me. It is actually telling me how to make a model which is pretty cool but it's just not what I want. So, Anyways, that's it, and it's time to rank the AI. In the first category, 
it probably gets a 9 out of 10 because I haven't seen this idea anywhere else and it seems pretty original. And for the next, the scripting, probably a 10 out of 10 because there was no issues with it and everything just worked perfectly. And then with the models, probably 2 out of 10 because it did actually say how I can make one but it couldn't do it for me. So that's it, thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe and comment what videos you want me to make next, bye.